Hey, what's going on everyone? So in today's video, like I mentioned in the last one, I'm going to be showing you how to quickly set up these cores on your analog pocket. It won't take very long. It's pretty quick and straight to the point. Then I'll show you a couple of the games on there as well and how they look, how they run, you know, all that good stuff. I'll try different ones that I haven't already tried that way. I have a variety of games that have been shown. So without further ado, I uh, thank everyone who's been subscribing so far. You're all awesome. I can't believe I already passed 850 subscribers. That's amazing for me at least. So thank you everyone. And if you haven't already, please leave a like and subscribe. That would be awesome. And hopefully I earn your subscription today. And let's get into the rest of the video. All right. So here we are. We're gonna we're gonna start with Sega Game Gear. So it's pretty simple. If uh, you haven't already seen this website, I'll link it in the description below. Straightforward, you gotta click on the offer. I'm sure you can click on here too. This will take you straight to the download actually, which is very good. So let's right click it, see what happens. Okay, so that's what you're gonna need. Everything, obviously all credit goes to Spiritualize 1997. He got the cores up and running for the analog pocket. Here's, his, here's everything else you'll need to see. So installation looks straightforward like the other ones. Copy and paste everything to the magic folders. Yeah, all right. And then you place the ROMs and the asset common folders. So it seems pretty straightforward. It's anything different. Download it. Save. Okay. Then you go. You yeah, obviously have to go here. So let's go to right here. Let's unzip it. Extract all. There you go. Right, and you just copy and paste, drag and drop, that's it. That's it, you're done. Now let's put, it's gonna be an asset. Here is, is this Game Gear? No, yeah, it was Game Gear, okay. Game Gear, here I got a whole bunch of games here, I'm just gonna copy it over. So this part will take a little longer, but let's, let's give it a shot and let's see how it goes. Shouldn't take too long. And that should be it, and everything should be up and running afterwards. All right, and it looks like we are good to go. So let's, there it is, there's everything you need. All right, so let's switch over to the pocket and let's make sure everything works. Okay, so we are now back. So let's check out Game Gear. So I already showed you how to set it up, now let's just try it out. So let's do Aladdin real quick. That's a good one we haven't shown yet. And if you have the adapter for this, that would be awesome to compare it. This is really gonna cut out the need for it, the EverDrive as well. All right, let's do it. It's like a Temple Run version. That runs pretty good, runs smooth. Don't see any real uh, hiccups at all. Seems to be running. Ah, oh, they caught me. Damn. <laughs> all right, uh, yeah, let's try, you know, let's try a different one now. Okay, open FPG, let's go to Game Gear. I think I would, would say, I wish it was a faster way to quit and go right back. Let's do Batman Forever. Crazy. Let me tell you, like back in the day, you used to have so much competition for handhelds. These, these days, you do not. Looks like the biggest one we have is either retro or, or Nintendo Switch. At least the Steam Deck is stepping it up, so that's cool. Okay, let's go. Cool. I like having the multiple buttons you can use. There we go. Ah, nice beat em up. All right, get back here. There we go. Man, this guy is pretty strong. There you go. There we go, man. 
There we go. Cool. Ninja. All right, cool. Looks like this one works pretty good too. Let's try another Game Gear one. All right, let's see. Oh, you know what? That Desert Strike. Oh, I used to love playing this game on the PS2. I'm sorry, on the PlayStation. Man, I'm old. Okay, let's go. This probably won't look the same as a PlayStation one. Come on, let's go. Starts the same at least. Ninety seconds. And you know what? Ain't actually that that far off. There we go. Where am I going? Where are you taking me? Okay, let's go this way. Ah, uh, the controls are like that. Cool. That's actually pretty cool. That looks like a civilization map too, or a Sim City type map. Go backwards. All right, that was pretty cool. All right, so let's move on to the next new Open FPG, a core. All right, so we're gonna do Sega Master System. Now, same thing, all credit goes to Spiritualize 1997. As you can see, everything's right here. And let's just, same thing, you can click, see details here, let's click on that. And then, let's click right here. Okay, here we are. Same thing, copy and move everything over, and that's it. Okay, straight and forward. My kind of instructions. Okay, let's extract it all. There you go. Copy it over. And bam. Okay. This one was okay, so like a master system. There we go. Okay. And you gotta obviously you gotta go here. SMS, drag and drop. Oh wait, this is supposed to come common. Okay, we're good. All right, so let's go to the pocket and let's see how it looks. Okay, we're back. Now let's check out Master System. Let's try to run some different games we didn't run last time. Let's do Jurassic Park. As you can tell, it runs very good. It starts up pretty quick. Very good to go with the brand new Jurassic World that came out recently. If you want to play the old version, here you go. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> awesome. All right, you gotta shoot some dinosaurs up here. Ah. Ah, there we go. <laughs> it's pretty cool. These cores, man, they really open up a whole new world for the pocket. Especially if you're not able to get any of the adapters. But for Master System specifically, that's it's a console. It's a home console. All right, let's try Sonic the Hedgehog 2. I didn't show that one last time. Sonic the Hedgehog looks beautiful. I gotta say, the screen really makes these games pop. There's some stutter, but that could also just be the game itself. Uh, I'm gonna go back and do that one more time. There we go. Go. Cool. 
Oh, this is awesome. All right, let's try another Master System game before we move on to the last. Uh, let's do Phoenix Star. Let's see, oh, let's see how this looks. This is an old RPG. I'm not going to go through everything because it will take me forever. All right, this is taking forever. <laughs> there we go. Ah. This is awesome. Shop. It kind of reminds me of old Mario as well. It's giving me several different vibes. Oh, this is so cool. Looks really good, let me tell you. All right, let's go on to the next one now. All right, and last but not least is going to be Sega. Okay, <laughs> let's give that one a shot. Obviously, everything goes right here. You get all, the, all the credit goes to Spiritualized 1997. See what the instructions say. Okay, copy and paste every assets there. Okay, and copy the ROMs. Okay, so let's see. All right, so this one, all right, let's give this one a shot now. Where is it, right here. Here you go. Okay, extract. Copy. Uh, all right and the same thing you're gonna have to copy over whatever ROMs you want right here so that I'm gonna have to acquire some so let me find something then I'll uh, show everything on the pocket and that will be it okay we're back so let's check out the last one I don't have too much of this one I already showed it in a previous video so we'll go over to Sega real quick they work works very well you how you get these games is on you but they work very well Sega's is a pretty old console by today's standards so it runs very smooth and it's instantaneously when it comes to load time so nothing to worry about with this one okay and let's show you the last one that i have at least from sega galica that one's a classic I tell you it works very well if you ever play galica this is pretty good I highly recommend it. Classic arcade game. You can't go wrong with this. You cannot go wrong with Galica. Damn. Oh, that's so close. This guy won't die. He will not die. There we go. All right. All right, everyone. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you on the next on the next one.